Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Never had such a sleepless night. I, I dreamed that I was back in the temple of Mirak, and I could hear his voice in my head. And the people here, they were all inside this bar, and they were all just thralls of Mirak, just repeating words over and over again. It was a terrible night. I don't even know. Was it a dream? Was it real? Something terrible is going on here. All right, well, at least the people are appreciative of the work that we've done here. The, the mine is back open. They're, they're able to mine ebony ore. So things are going better for them. Now, we need to get out of here. We have another mission to do before we go back to Skyrim and let me just pull up my parchment all right Captain Veleth explained that the ash spawn have been attacking Raven Rock for some time now and he's been trying to locate their source his lack of manpower and reluctance to leave the town without a commander are keeping him from finding out more as a result of our conversation, I've agreed to help him with this situation. I need to begin by searching the Atticus Farm, Atius Farm, for clues that might lead me to the Ashpawn source. All right, it's a new day, new morning. I did take the time to temper and refine the Thieves Guild outfit that Glover had in his basement. I'm wearing it now. Might look a little different from what I was wearing before. The armor rating is much higher than the outfit that I had before. Alright. Let's get back to Atticus Farm. Atius Farm and see what's going on. I have also crafted a new weapon. And this is a Nightingale Dagger. It uh, drains 20% health. I think it's 25% health, actually, and 25% stamina. All right, here we are at Adia's farm, searching an ash pile. Declaration of War. Raven Rock. Stronghold, my calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and an immediate cessation of all hostilities have been ignored numerous times. I therefore have no choice but to assume your purpose on Solstein is hostile and to treat Ravenrock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire. I warn you, any attempt to breach Fort Frostmoth will be met with an equal level of aggression. I will do everything in my power to wipe you and your forces off the face of Tamriel. There will be no further communications between us. General Fox Carius, Garrison Commander, Fort Frostmouth. Okay, well I guess we should take this. Take these ores as well. And the ash. Alright, so where is the captain? He needs to see this letter immediately. What's this? An ash yam? <laughs> I don't know about this bone mold stuff. This stuff is so ugly. It's like just going to leave it. Somebody else can pick it up. Captain! 
Captain Veleth. Have you found something? I have. I discovered this note on one of the ash spawn. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's Carius, but that's impossible. Impossible? Why? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. What do you want me to do? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm going to head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. What are these ash spawn? No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. They started attacking the Bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. How often do they attack? We've had two other assaults on the Bulwark, at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. You suspect there's a motivation to their attacks? Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us, and we need to find out who or what it is. How are things now that the mines are open again? I've had to muster some more men to protect the mine, but I don't really have a problem with that. Second Councillor Arano is concerned that once word reaches the Reavers that the mine has reopened, they might think about paying us a visit. I say let them try. My men are ready for them. Well, good. At least that's one thing I don't have to worry about. Good day. Be careful. This General Curious sounds out of his mind. Well, according to you, he's dead. All right. Or at least he should be. Are you ready, Iona? We may be in for a, quite a fight. All right. Fro th Fort Frostmoth. Here we come. down. Capture his attention. Ah! I think we're going to be taking this uh, castle by Come stealth. Back. An invader has entered the fort. Prepare yourselves for an ambush. Is someone there? Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! Who is that? Who's saying that? Who's here? Just wanted to make sure that there were no other surprises. Let's go ahead. We're going to go in here. A frontal attack. Huh? Calm down. I guess I should be checking these ash piles they seem to contain. Look out! Seem to contain some valuable materials.
This nightingale blade is beautiful. Take these healing potions. No one else climbing up out of the ash. Alright, it looks like it's down this way, Iona. one-handed practice. I'm not so sure how effective this pacify spell is, though. Hmm. Iona? Iona, where are you? Iona! Come on, what are you doing? Hmm, it's a whole bunch of spiders. To me, my bow. God, these things are flammable too. I don't know if we even should go this way. Is this the way to go? later. It's this one. More ruby geode. Is this it? Dead end? Okay. Alright, well hopefully this section will stay cleared out. Gym. War axe we don't need. Leave the circlet too. Alright. Take the salt. Alright, come on, Iona. Two nightingale blades, and I'm going to put them to good use, I think. Alright, we don't have the key for this. And for some reason, a master lockpick like myself can't pick the lock. Wonder why. Ash 
spawn. Look out. healing potions. I know someone was expecting trouble. Search coffin. Okay. This isn't a good sign either. What does this mean? Vampires too? Alright. Stick. Stay close. I think this is the knapsack we need. Yes. Here's the key. Cross moth key. All right, let's go. Stay behind me, Iona. Get ready. Trouble ahead. size of that chest. Alright, he's gonna see you. Time to meet your There's Ash spawn back here too. Another key, and look at this, Champion's Cudgel. 50% chance for each element of fire, frost, and shock to do 31 points of damage. I'll take that. I think I know that enchantment, but... Can't hurt. Take all this stuff. I was trying to uh, use 
these time spells. I don't know if they work or not. I'm not sure if it was working. Just make sure we search the area first, Iona. Never know what treasure you might be passing up. Alright, looks like we've got nothing. Let's go. So, looks like that's it. All right, we need to return to Captain Veleth. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? I killed General Carius. Well, it's a general, not a captain. Sorry, I got the rank wrong. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Curious's exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. He'll no longer send Ash Spawn to Raven Rock. So, I guess it was him that was causing this to happen. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. Hmm. And you got rid of General Curious. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Wow. That was quite generous. Did you need something else from me? I'm sorry to bother you. But... Second Counselor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. Did he say what it was about? All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. Really? That sounds Please, unbelievable. Please, go speak to the second counselor as soon as possible. All right. I'm sorry. I've already said too much. Talk to second counselor Arano if you're willing to help us. Seriously, you've said too much by telling me to go speak to someone? Are you insane? Iona! I don't go. know if I can do this anymore, Modin. I come. Let's go. Your father, or is it me? Come on. He's never been the same since my mother died. I don't think We've got a new assignment. I was really hoping we could I head back to Skyrim, but I guess open. not yet. Well, thank you for coming. You're welcome. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Councillor Morvane being killed. Oh, that would be a shame. He's in danger. How? The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. Why would the Ulans want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. He ordered the execution. It's on his head, not yours. Now that's just ridiculous. As second counselor, it's my responsibility to protect Councillor Morvain from harm. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. And I don't want it to come to that. You feel an attack on the counselor is imminent? I do. 
I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenlock. Why haven't you acted on the information? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. Well, I guess I am here to, to help people and try to prove to Iona that I'm, I'm not totally... Just a murderer, so how can I help? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. Where do I begin? I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. What can you tell me about House Lalu? Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. I presume that was their downfall. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dhamma people's suffering. What happened to House Lalu as a result? They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the council. You mentioned your sources? I maintain a few contacts in other Dunma settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Why don't you ask them to investigate? Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. Why do the Dunmer hate the Empire? During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. How did the Dunmer survive this at all? House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years, but it became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Of course. All right. I'll ask you, I've been asking other people and not been able to get a clear answer, but tell me about the shrine outside of town. Yes, I... I'm not sure what to say. Did we build that? I really don't remember. That's what I thought. All right, good day. Don't worry, you can trust Geldis. He's been with us for a long time. Iona? Yes, my thing? It looks like we have all, another mystery to try to solve here yeah, in Solstheim. Can I help you? So, we will continue next time. Yeah.